Awareness of Subtle Energies, Part 2. April 22, 2014. Greetings dear ones. We are the High Council of Orion. In today's message we continue the messages from before about breaking down the barrier, or the perception of your barrier, between yourself and your energetic reality. Again, we speak of a simple way to start to become aware of the energetics that currently exist and how simply you can shift them to live into this greater experience of who you are as an energetic being. Today we speak about this from the point of view of your human interactions, for you each have many during the day, whether it's on the phone or on the internet or in person, whether they're people you know well or people you're interacting with when you're out at the stores or elsewhere in your life who may just be acquaintances. As you're interacting with the other people on your planet, what we're asking you to do now is to begin to be aware of your motivation often in working with other people, in what you're saying and what you're doing, for there are many on the planet, particularly many who would be listening to these messages at this time, who feel that automatically doing for others to keep others happy is a beautiful act of service. In many regards it is. Yet sometimes it is being done more from an idealistic level or a reaction that if I take care of all those around me and they're happy, therefore then I can be happy. We would invite you to see how externally motivated that is. You are allowing how you feel to be guided by and defined by those on the outside rather than what's happening on the inside for you. What we invite you to do is, first of all, become aware of your motivation in your interactions with other people. You have relationships with people, such as a boss, an employer, where part of your job is to make sure that they're happy from the point of view of your job description. So those types of relationships we're not specifically referring to now, for there is a hierarchy that's implied within your job description that you need to honor. In terms of other relationships you have in your life, just begin to observe your motivation for reaching out to them. Is it truly heartfelt or are you? on some level, looking for them to feel better, so, therefore, you can feel better. Or them to feel better so you can get the accolades and then you feel better yourself. You might say well, what's wrong with that? And we are not saying there's anything wrong with that, but what we would like you to do is then, after you've observed your motivation, to then observe your energetic field before you respond or react. Feel the expansiveness or the contraction within your energy field in terms of whether this feels right for you or not. If it feels right for you and you've tuned into that energetic space, then it becomes a win-win situation for both people. If you tune into the energetic space before you respond and you feel a contraction in your energy or a resistance, then what we would say is that you're actually creating a static between the two of you, in that what looks like a generous gift, a generous offering of your time, your energy or your advice, whatever it might be, because it's not resonant with your energetic field as well, you're doing it out of obligation or looking for the outside affirmation. We would say you're actually creating static in the field around you. The result of what it is that you truly are desiring from that will not be achieved. You might feel frustrated, thwarted, and eventually feel, in a sense, victimized at the effect of these other people. It's not so much about the people, but it's about the energetics. As you tune into your field and feel an expansiveness in your energy field, you actually allow yourself, when you say yes to whatever it is, to expand out even more. When you say yes to your energetic field and, perhaps it may not be what you normally would have done for that person, but within your energetic field and your desire to interact with that other person, there might be a different solution that can come forward that allows the expansiveness within your energetic field and allows them to be uplifted as well, which collectively expands everyone's energy. We have far more to say about this than we can say in one short channeling and we will address it more as we go on. But the idea here is really, again, beginning to observe your energy in relation to the things that you habitually do and, in this case, relative to other humans around you. Understanding that if you are giving in a way that's not in alignment with your own energetic resonance as well, you actually are creating static in the field that, in a sense, short circuits both people's energies. It creates opportunities for people to be dissatisfied or complaining, or you not feeling seen and heard for the gifts that you have to offer or that you are offering. 
just begin to evaluate this without judgment of yourself. Tune into your energy field as well. Begin to think, how can I interact because I feel like I want to give in a way that creates a situation that energetically feels right for me and energetically serves the other people as well. The static goes away in the situation and both people's energies expand to an even greater level. We invite you to play with this as another way to begin to live into the energetic truth of who you are, as the energetic being, starting to be aware of the refinements in the energy field that are always giving you information. Yet it's retraining yourself to begin to listen to it, to begin to pay attention to it, as a source of information that's not part of the world of the five senses. It feels, at the moment, easier to pay attention to the information in the physical world around you. As you start living into the energetics, you will find that that becomes equally real, equally informative, and will allow a greater level of ease and peace and understanding and flow in your life as you begin to practice this. We invite you to do this without judgment, being very patient and loving with yourself and, again, having fun playing in this realm of energy and seeing the shifts and changes in your life and your relationships as you do. Be blessed. We are the High Council of Orion. Channeled by Holly Hawkins Marwood. Transcribed by Paul Marwood. www.akashahealingstudio.com